the place where we are at, many children have one meal a day, especially on weekends, because during weekends, what happens is the children are outside school, because in school during the week they eat. We were about four guys that we've been friends for the longest time. We were volunteering in an organization within Kibera Slums. The organization was having children come on board, so we were teaching them about Bible stories. And so we thought of an idea that, yeah, rather than just children coming on board, teach them for maybe two, three hours and then send them away, we would provide food for them. And that is how the idea came up. Us doing a feeding program to the children, they get to learn the word of God. They have a time of praise and worship, so they dance. And then after that, we have a time of class where they go and they learn. They do some coloring, word search, and some puzzles. When they have done that, they get to eat nutritious food. <laughs> The feeding program is under an, uh, an organization called Endless Frontier. It is based here in Kibera. We have three centers where we feed our children. We began around 2011. We were registered in 2013. Since 2013, we've been doing feeding program every year, every month. My name is Uncle Juma, a love Christ, and I'm happy to be here. So, so. so today, we have another beautiful lesson. I'm here at Kiyako. Beautiful lesson. Beautiful lesson. Amazing lesson. Amazing lesson. Yes, so how many of us are ready to learn? I have to be to my coffee. The fifth day, listen, listen. After this lesson, we will be able to learn. After this lesson, we will be able to learn. We will be able to learn. We will be able to learn. Ministry is about calling. As Endless Frontiers, we are called to minister to children. And that's why we use feeding program as an avenue to reach out to children. So in between. I scared by Aha, Okay, to pick here, my Yes. When your child comes here, we feed them spiritually with the word of God, morally, the way they behave, their character development aspect, and then physically, we give them food. <laughs> I joined Endless Frontier Foundation through the feeding program back when I was a little child. The feeding program was being carried out in Y City, which is in Katwekera. It occurred every Saturday. The benefits I got from joining the program, at least I was able to get lunch from the feeding program that was being carried out. Apart from that, there was also spiritual growth. We were being taught Bible stories. There was a mentorship program for us. We were also being taken out on trips to experience different kinds of places. Francis has already finished cooking the beans today. Uh, so these are beans today. And then uh, we are now cooking rice. Just uh, just put on the water for the rice, so uh, the food will be ready in the next few few hours, probably an hour, Francis in one hour. So yeah, to be ready and be excited for today.
enjoying the program. The food is very sweet. I like to say they, they should just continue because they are doing a very nice job and they are, and they are helping many children out there. We encourage the parents, if you're there and you have a child who is at home, idle, and you're scared if you go to work that you don't even have an idea what your child will be doing, it's a safe place for your child. We have teachers who are qualified. Uh, we have mentors who have good morals, who have good backgrounds, people who have given themselves to serving. And they're able to take care of your kids. During that period, our kids are with us. I'll summarize it they say a bit easier for you to understand. When Jesus saw a large crowd gather for compassion on them, and as evening approached, disciples of Jesus asked him to send away the people to go to the villages and buy the food for themselves. And Jesus told them, there's no need to go away for them or to get no need. So, Jesus and even not finish our work. Then we continue to finish our work. That was his passion. Teaching people, giving people the, the spiritual food was his passion. We've had quite a number of successes. Currently, there are people who we began with in 2013, while they were still young, small, and uh, right now they've finished school and they've come on board to be able to help us. This reminds me of a scripture in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 2, uh, where Paul is saying that, and the things you've heard from me amongst many witnesses, and trust them to faithful men who will teach others also of these things that I've taught you. I've been part of the feeding program that it, it has helped me so much to be able to, to grow spiritually. I want other children to be like me. The joy which I usually get when I see children are happy, when I see a smile on their face, and most of them call me Tisha Kennedy, I feel very proud. There is a joy I usually get in teaching the children because I get to impact their lives the same way mine was impacted. You have to be a patient person to work with children. You have to be very understanding to be able to know what to do and when and how so that you don't also become a stumbling block in the growth of these children. Some of them come from a very complicated background. Some come from a place where they don't see or find love. So for us to come, to be able to be back for that way. In line with what we are doing, we believe and trust that um, uh, we are able to uh, achieve our aim, able to achieve our objective. One of the most important things we use our churches, we use schools as an avenue uh, to reach out to the community. So with that you are able to minimize conflict between you and parents. Uh, because you know most children who come for these programs either are from that school or from that church. Unlike a situation where you you know you just create a center uh, where children can come for the feeding. We've had uh, a few issues come up especially for the parents that have not understood exactly what we are doing. So there are those who have come up and uh, they've asked their children not to come to our feeding program. But the percentage is a little bit small. But what we've done as facilitators, as teachers, is we've taken the step of leadership to go to their homes and talk to these parents. And uh, once we've explained to them exactly what we are doing and uh, how we are engaging their children, then that has not been an issue anymore. The challenges which I wish I had to face when, when we are cooking, the smoke is choking sometimes and, and you have to cook. We are just persevering so the children can eat. You know children are always children. Sometimes they play risky games. So we've had a child breaking his hand. We had to incur that huge cost to just make sure that this child gets proper medication. Those small challenges whereby a child comes with a coat or 
or something precious to them and they lose it. We have so many children, above 500 per Saturday when we feed them. And so sometimes tracking each and every one of them, what they were having during the session, sometimes it's hard. We have a challenge in terms of uh, sometimes manpower. The other challenge, of course, is finances. As you all know, it's not easy to feed, you know, uh, 10, 100 mouths. Therefore, we're asking anybody who is interested to come on board, uh, join us for this noble cause, uh, because we are changing and touching the next generation. Reaching out to the community through sharing the little resources that we have through feeding the children is a great blessing unto us and this organization and I would encourage anyone who is watching this to join in the movement. The feeding program depends on support. People give their resources, their monies, their time uh, so that this can happen. We are the best fathers that these children can, can relate to. Uh, we are the best mothers that these children can relate to. We are the best friends that these children can relate to. Because um, yeah, in many homes, probably there is no peace, no stability. So when they come, on, uh, when, when they come to our programs, and we are able to relate with them, we are able to eat the food that we've cooked, we are eating it, to all of us together. And they, they are just seeing a different kind of adults in us. Uh, so this needs a lot of prayers. Uh, we are not able to do it by ourselves. And uh, please come on board to help us.